Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we'll see how to create this Valentine's wallpaper that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. And make sure to download all these assets that we'll be using for this tutorial that you can find down in the description below. Alright, fantastic, so let's get to it. Alright, so open Adobe Photoshop and I will go to File New. I'm gonna create a new document with 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height and in the resolution 300 and RGB in the color mode and press OK. Alright, now I'm gonna grab the texture that we'll be using. So I will take it and open it in a new window in here and I will grab it to the new file that we just created and I'm gonna close this window in here now I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will make it bigger to fit the canvas in here and I will put it just right there and I will press enter I'm just gonna delete this background in here now I'm gonna uh, make a copy of it so I'm gonna press ctrl J and I will change the blending mode of it to multiply and as you can see this will bring uh, more details uh, from uh, the texture in here but I'm gonna select it and then I'm gonna press ctrl L and I'm gonna brighten it a little bit and I will take this middle handle and I'm gonna put it into the right just like this Oops, a little bit that's right there and I will press OK alright now I'm gonna press ctrl shift alt E and this will take a snap of this uh, texture and put it in a new layer in here and I will call it BG for background and I will delete these two layers for now alright now we'll go and open the rose picture in here and I will open it in a new window and I will cut it from its background so I will use the magic wand tool so I will go and select the magic wand tool and I will one click to this white space that I have in here and as you can see this will load the, the all white that we have in this picture now I'm gonna invert my selection so I'm gonna press ctrl shift i and this will select the rows so I'm gonna press ctrl j and this will make it in a new layer in here so I'm gonna take it and put it in the new file just we just created so I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will make it smaller that's right there and I will rotate it that's uh, right here and I will press enter alright now I want to get rid of this white spot that we have in here so we can do that by using the patch tool so we'll go in here and I'm gonna select the patch tool it's the third one and I'm gonna make a selection of this white spot in here and then I'm gonna take it and drag it to another area that there is nothing in it and as you can see it will copy the information from this area and put it in here and the white spot is disappeared so I'm gonna do the same for the other places Now I'm gonna make a copy of it so I'm gonna press ctrl J I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will make it smaller that's uh, right there I'm gonna take it and put it right here we we'll rotate it a little bit just right there and I will press enter I'm gonna take it and put it under the big rows in here so I will go and I will press alt and I will create a copy of it and I will put it in here and I'm gonna press ctrl T again 
and they will rotate it almost right there I think I'm gonna get rid of this part in here so I will select the first rows in here and I will grab the eraser tool and I'm gonna cut it yes like this all right now I'm gonna select the three roses in here and I'm gonna press ctrl E so it will merge them in one layer and I will call it rows all right now I'm gonna make a copy of it so I'm gonna press ctrl J and I'm gonna uh, convert it to black and white so I'm gonna press ctrl shift U and then I'm gonna press ctrl L and I will lighten it a little bit I'm gonna play with the tone of it it's uh, like this and I will press ok now I'm gonna change the blending mode to soft light and I will reduce the opacity to 50% and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna hide this background in here and I will press Control shift alt e and this will make a snap uh, for this uh, rows alone in a new layer so we'll delete this two in here and again I'm gonna call it rows and I will make the background visible again I'm gonna press Control T and I will make it smaller a little bit uh, so right here and I will press enter now I will go to filter filter gallery and in the artistic folder in here just open it and choose dry brush now for this filter you need to experience with the setting that you have in here but for this one I'm gonna put 2 in the brush size and 8 in the brush detail and 3 in the texture and I will press ok Alright, now I'm gonna uh, change the blending mode of it to multiply and I would put it up a little bit uh, so right there Alright Now I'm gonna apply a layer mask to it so I would go to this layer mask icon and I would one click to it and I would make sure that I'm selecting the layer mask and I would go to the brushes in here and I will right click and I already uh, load the brushes in here but to load them just go to this gear icon and one click and choose load brushes and you know just load the brushes that you download from the description below and click load alright so I'm gonna start with this one in here and make sure your foreground color is black and the opacity I will set it around 40% and I'm gonna start deleting uh, the edges of uh, the flower in here so I will go as like this it's really easy to do just you know one click in a row as like this and you know by pressing X you can switch between the black and white in here if I press X I can switch to black and now I can bring back uh, the, from the flower in here as you can see this is really helpful to create uh, really cool effects so I would keep doing this and I will be back in a second all right something like this as you can see now I would create a new layer and I would call it brush and I'm gonna start brushing using this broken brush in here so I'm gonna sample the color from uh, the rows in here so I will press alt and one click to uh, the color in here and I will make it bigger and I'm gonna try to create uh, the flower leaves in here just like this see 
and I will go back to the brushes I'm gonna choose this one and again I'm gonna go like this but also I want to uh, go and select this brush in here and I will try to sample a color again and again I'm gonna make the opacity a little bit down around 30% and I will try to make the color go from the rows in here just like this and I will keep going like this something like that now I'm gonna select the both uh, layers in here I'm gonna put them in a group so I'm gonna press ctrl G and I will call it rows now I want to create a rectangle like this so I can hide the half of uh, these uh, rows in here so I will go and choose the rectangular marquee tool in here and then create a rectangle just like this so around here and now I'm gonna select the folder in here and by pressing alt and one click to this layer mask icon it will hide the half of uh, the, the rows in here and that's what we want all right now I want to uh, create uh, the shadow uh, from here that uh, make it so it will make it looks like this paper is in front of uh, the, uh, the rows in here so I will go back again to the rectangular marquee tool and I'm going to create a new layer and I will call it shadow and I will create a rectangle from here just like that make sure it's set that's right here and I would go to the gradients in here and I'm gonna make sure my foreground color is black and in the gradient in here just one click to it and make sure is foreground to transparent in here is set and press ok and in the gradient style make sure it's radio and now I'm gonna one click down from here and I'm gonna one click and I will press shift and I will drag it into the top just like that and I will repeat it and as you can see it will start creating the shadow in here now while uh, the selection is still uh, loaded I'm gonna press ctrl T and I will make it a little bit smaller down just like that and I will press enter now I'm gonna press ctrl D and as you can see we will have in here this really cool shadow in here all right now I'm gonna create a new layer again and I will call it highlight and I will go to my brushes in here and I will right click and this time I'm gonna choose the, a regular brush and I'm gonna make the size 2 pixel and the hardness 100 and the opacity 100% and the flow 100 and I'm gonna open the, the brushes setting in here if you can't find it in here just go to window and make sure brushes is checked and I will go to the shape dynamic and I will make it active and in the control in here make sure pen pressures is set in here now make sure your foreground color is white and go to the pen tool and I'm gonna start creating curves that it will follow the curve of the flower in here so I'm gonna start from here and I'm gonna create this curve just like that 
I want to show you an example how to create this highlight yes. from here now I'm gonna right click and I will choose stroke path and in this tool in here make sure brush is set and simulate pressure is on and press ok and now if I press escape on my keyboard you can see in here this line that it will uh, looks like uh, the highlights of the edges of uh, the leaves of the flower in here now we'll keep doing that but here is a trick or here is a shortcut that you can uh, use to create uh, the highlights quickly so I will start from here and go like this and now uh, instead of right click and choose stroke path I'm gonna press control and one click and this will have I have my uh, stroke is already on and I can create another one so I'm gonna go and create another one in, from here and I'm gonna press control again and one click and again I'm gonna create another one that's right there and another one in here and again I will press control one click and now after you're done creating all the lines that you want you can just right click and choose stroke path and then make sure brush is set and simulate pressure is on and press ok and as you can see it will create the path for every line that we have in here so I will keep doing that and I will be back in a second all right something like this now I'm gonna double click to it and I will go to color overlay and I'm gonna change the color to this pink in here and I will press OK and I will go to the outer glow and I'm gonna change the blending mode to screen and I will change the color to the a pink color again just to give it a little bit of glow and I will press OK now in the size make it 7 and press OK all right and as you can see we have this really cool highlights for the the rows in here now i will go and select the type tool and the font uh, i'm using is called vampire kiss you'll find it down in the description below too so with one click and type happy valentine and i'm gonna press ctrl t and i will make it bigger uh, so around here and I will press enter now I'm gonna double click to it and I'm gonna change the color to a red color uh, somewhere in here and I will press ok and I will change the blending mode to multiply all right now I'm gonna apply a layer mask to it so I will go and one click to this layer mask icon and again I will go to brushes and I will right click and I'm gonna choose this brush in here and I will make the opacity around 30% and again I'm gonna start to delete a little bit from the edges of the text itself again just a little bit not that much something like that and I will create a new layer and I will call it brush again and again I will go to the brushes in here and I'm gonna choose these broken brushes and again I'm gonna sample uh, the color of the the text and I'm gonna start creating this broken text 
let's take that. Alright, something like this. Now I'm gonna create a new folder and I would call it color adjustment and I will start with the curve adjustment color so we choose curves and I'm gonna make a point in here and I'm gonna take it down a little bit and I will make another point in here and I will drag it up all right and I will go again to adjustments I'm gonna apply a solid color this time and I'm gonna put F4 E A B D and I will press OK and I will change the blending mode to multiply and again I will go to adjustments and I will choose solid color again and this time I'm gonna choose a red color so I'm gonna choose before 37 37 and I will press OK and I'm gonna make the opacity 12 and I will change the blending mode to lighten and again I will go for solid color and this time I'm gonna choose a blue color so I'm gonna put 37 5 a b4 and I will press OK and again I will make the opacity 12% and the blending mode to lighten now I'm gonna press Control shift alt e and this will uh, merge uh, the visible that we can see in here and put it in one layer so I will call this merged and I'm gonna convert it to a black and white so I'm gonna press Control shift u and i'm gonna change the blending mode of it to soft light and i will put the opacity of it to 50 percent all right now i will go to adjustments again and i'm gonna choose this time levels and i will go in the rgb in here i'm gonna choose the red and I'm gonna take the black and put it just right 20 and the white will make it 240 and I will go to the blue and I'm gonna make the output for the black 30 and the output for the white 230 and I will make the opacity 50% now I will go again to adjustment and I will choose this time exposure and in the offset in here I will make it 0 0.0200 and in the gamma correction I will make it 0 0.85 and I'm gonna make the opacity 50% now the last thing that we're gonna add is a, a vignette so I will go and select uh, the rectangular marquee tool in here and I'm gonna make the feather 200 pixel and I'm gonna create a rectangular as like this and as you can see because we set the feather 200 it will make it curved now I'm gonna press Control shift I so it will, it will invert uh, the, the selection of the curve and I will go and choose curves and I'm gonna make one put in here and pull it down a little bit that's right there it will make it look like a vignette in here 
all right and i'm gonna set the opacity around 70 percent and there we go oh this is before the color adjustment and this is after the color adjustment all right so i hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorial to come and have a nice day thank you for watching